Hey guys, I'm Max Rorty. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can make custom thumbnails in GIMP. So basically, by the end of the video, you will know how to make custom thumbnails and you know the key fundamentals of making a thumbnail. So I'll show you how I make my thumbnails. So as you can see over here, this is how I make my thumbnail. So with that being said, let's get started. So first off, open GIMP and I want to make sure if you don't have GIMP right now, guys, make sure to install it. I mean, it's a great program. It's a great software. You can make amazing thumbnails thumbnails but I like to keep them simple so first off go to file and then click new and then type in 1280 by 720 which I already have done I don't know how but okay go to fill with and make this transparency and then click ok so you're gonna get this canvas to play around with so after you're done with that you need a background image so basically what I do is I go to Google images and then I type in a texture um, usually um, galaxies you know I like galaxies I like how they look like so I type in a red galaxy or galaxy red wherever you like to you know put that wherever you like to put that um, <laughs> but you have to make sure the image that you're finding is uh, 1280 by 720 or higher than that preferably 1920 by 1080 you can also type in red uh, grunge that's also a good texture to you know put in your thumbnails um, you can also type in radio so let me type that right now that also looks good I haven't used radial so far so that that looks good in my opinion so you can use that so once you find the image that you like go to view image and then right click on it and then save image as and then save it wherever you want so once you're done with this you're ready to move on to the next step so the next step is to go to file and then click open and then find your image over here so I guess if this was my image yeah this was my image so click open and then you'll notice your image opens up in a new browser so just go on that image and then click on it and then control C and then you'll notice it says copied pixels to the clipboard so just press control C and make sure it says copied pixels to the clipboard otherwise it won't work so go back to your you know canvas and then press control V and then you'll notice your image is a bit big because my image is 1920 by 1080 so go to there and then scale there and then type in 1280 and then just uh, go over here and type the 720 so you're gonna see it's gonna rescale back to the original size so the next thing I like to do is make the opacity of the background a bit darker so um, my text stands out so I do that by clicking on the floating section over here I just click on it and then I go to layer and then I click new from visible and then I click on it again and then I go to layer and then I click two new layer so you get these two layers and then just go to paste it layer and then make sure your two colors over here are black and then go to blender tool and then just go up and then down and then it's all gonna go black so then go to the opacity tool over here and then go down over here so make sure you can barely see the image but you can play around with it and see what floats your boat. So I'll go with 47 because I like it. So after that, I'll write my text. So I'll go over here, then type in whatever you want over here. So the font I like to use is lemon milk. So let me find it right now, lemon milk over here. And then I just move the text over here. So it looks good. I don't want to put it in the middle, but I don't want to put it anywhere like that. But I'll put it over here. It looks good. A great success. So after I'm done with the text, what I like to do is go to the filters and then go light and shadow and then go drop shadow. And then basically over here, you're gonna, you know, play around with it. Just see whatever floats your boat. I'll go with uh, 60 and then click OK. And then click on the browser again over here, click on top over here and then go filters and then repeat drop shadow. So then I keep on doing that until it looks good. So after you're done with the text, what I like to do is I find an image that's related to my uh, video. So I go to Google Images again and then I type in, let's say I want a microphone. So I go microphone and then I type in PNG. So then find an image that you like. So I like this image over here. So as you can see, the background is, you know, checkered. So that means it's a PNG file. So just view image and then save image as and then save your image after you select your image go to file and then go open and then do the same thing find your microphone again so mine is over here so you'll notice it opens up in the next browser again 
So just uh, go to the browser over here and then just control C and then control V. And then you're gonna notice it depends on the scale, you know, it's gonna be large. So just go to layer and then click two new layer. So just don't worry, all right, just <laughs> stay with me. Then scale layer and then make this, uh, let's say 400 looks good. Scale layer and then you're gonna notice it's like this. So just move it over here. And then I'll also like to add drop shadow to this one. So repeat drop shadow and then just repeat the process again until it looks good so yeah after you're done with that just go to file and then go export as and then just save it wherever you want so I'm just go over here and then just click export and then just click export again alright so the final thing I want to make sure guys is that it's export as and not save as alright make sure it's export alright and not save otherwise it won't work otherwise your image will be too large so yeah guys that's about it for the video if you did like the video guys please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already guys please subscribe and as always thanks for watching